Hello everyone, I'm the Solar Gamer, and welcome back to Sid Meier Civilization Beyond Earth as the ARC. Yes, welcome back. So, last we left off, we were going to go ahead and colonize this island down here. We're building the colonists in four turns, and uh, we'll be good. Uh, firstly, I just want to mention as well, I am a bit under the weather, so if I sound a bit weird, that's the reason why. Uh, I apologize, I really, I, I got sick all of a sudden, it, it kind of sucks, but uh, I just have to push through. So, here we go. Um, yeah, so we're going to colonize this island down here, and uh, that'll be that. So, since the last episode, a fall patch for the game has been released that changes a bunch of things in the game. Mostly balancing things, but um, one of the big changes was in the beginning of the game, okay, uh, when you're choosing your colonists, so artists, um, actually just, yeah, artists and, what was the other one? Aristocrats. They usually started off with um, health bonus as well, and that is now gone. There is no more health bonus at the start of the game uh, to bring down to the planet. So, that sucks, but uh, we'll push through that, and I don't know if we've been affected by that. I don't remember what our health was beforehand, but I assume we have. So, oh well, it's fine. Uh, what else was big? Oh, oh yes, if we go up to level purity, level purity, uh, purity level 1, we can see that explorer units are twice as strong when defending. That was uh, changed from, what was it, uh, explorer units don't get attacked by aliens. So this is one of the bigger changes as well, is that you still get attacked by aliens as an explorer now. You just hold out a little bit longer. Which kind of stinks, because, I mean, this world is so hostile, and it's just, it's going to be a pain in the butt trying to explore. I liked how you, it, they became invincible. It made a little bit of sense, kind of, uh, in that you could explore the worlds by a certain period of time, and that's that. But what they've done now uh, that I don't like is they've made it much, much harder, even still, to explore the world. Which was, again, something that was just practically impossible to do beforehand. The reason for that is I don't know if there's actually a technology in here that actually allows us to view the entire world. There are a ton of technologies in here, but I just I, I, I haven't come across one yet. I could be entirely wrong, and if I am, then I'm sorry, but I think that if you're going to do this with the whole explorer thing, then you should give us a technology to explore the entire planet with... I don't want that. I What was I on before? Crap. What the hell? Um... Genetic mapping. Yeah, if you're going to do that and get rid of the whole invincibility with explorers, then you're going to have to give us something in return. In that, at a certain period, you just view the entire planet. You know, it would make a little bit more sense. Like I said, there could be one in here. I, I really don't know. But, um, yeah, I think that's kind of needed. Okay, moving along. Uh, again, a lot of other balancing changes. I can provide the change log in the, uh, the description below. Um, but, uh, yeah, just a lot of balancing and stuff like that. All right, and it looks like uh, Brasilia is getting attacked over here. Whoa! Was that a... Yeah, it's a crash satellite. Perfect. Why don't you come over here and sit on that? Thank you very much. And we'll, uh, we'll get to that eventually. Oh, that also came with the quest. Yeah, build an expedition at the signal source, which is over there. Perfect. Well, once we're done with this one, we'll go over there. Why don't you heal? Heal fully, and then we'll go back on the crash satellite, and then we'll move away. Well, that should be fine. One thing that I really want to do right now is stop trading with these uh, these stations because I want them to go away. I actually have debated this um, in my head, of course, uh, if I should kill them or just let them die off or whatever. Uh, and I'm definitely going to just let them go away on their own and settle up here because this is a very, very good city. It's strategically perfect when it comes to defending from either uh, Paul Australia or Brasilia. So I need this t this region over here. Not to mention we got some Firaxite, uh, Xenomass, Silica, Fungus, maybe Copper if we're lucky before uh, Jimboomba takes it. Jimboomba. That's a weird name. Um, yeah, so it's a very, very nice city. Plus, we have some uh, some access to the ocean over here. So, it's definitely going to be a worthwhile city to grab. And I definitely want to do that. And if I have to, if they just don't go away on their own, then I will go ahead and destroy them. Nothing will stand in my way of strategic locations. Okay, fortify. Alienist discovered. Oh, up here again. Okay, cool. Well, attack them. Because, yeah, they deserve it. Uh-oh. We have an explorer over here. Um, you know, we're okay right now, I think. So come back over here and start working on it. Six turns. We are at 80 health. So, yeah, we'll go down to about 20 health. But, um, we're still gonna be okay. And a colonist. You're gonna come over here. And I'm also building a worker to come over here as well. And, uh, we'll be good. Alrighty, let's see. What do you want to build? A generator? I suppose so. Yeah, let's work on a generator. And trade convoy is back from where? 
Uh, Church of Dawn's Light. Really? Okay. Well, go to Jimboma, please. And surprisingly enough, I think that's it. We can't actually go to Santo Adrio, so the next trade route that comes back is going to have to sit in the city until we can clear this miasma. Um, that's another thing as well, I'll mention in a second here. If we go into the tech web... Now, before, I believe, the Miasma Repulsor was up here. I, I could be wrong. I think, actually, I am wrong. Well, regardless, um, the Claire Miasma has been moved to Ecology, and something in here was moved around as well. I'm not entirely sure, but, um, yeah, so things changed in Ecology. So to grab the Miasma Repulsor, we need to go into Alien Biology, which I think we're going to do next. So let's go in down here, and it will be good. Because I definitely want to clear this area out over here of Miasma, so we can start trading with them. And uh, then we'll have two traders going. I am delighted by the robust exchange of goods. Yes. Thank you, Hutama. Oh. Yeah, I think so. And wait. Okay, so we are friendly with her. So you know what? Let's grab an alliance as well. That deal will work. Perfect. All right. We have a friend in the world, and they're all the way on the other side of the map. Okay, so we've landed here on the island. We're going to go ahead and, well, wait for this to happen first. They're getting attacked. Lovely. Uh, hopefully they go back in their nest. I don't want them to get wiped out. Then again, I mean, they might anyways, because the combat rovers is really good against aliens. If you're going to rejigger an organism's genotype, you should give it the courtesy of reading its manual first. Absolutely. Okay, uh, we gained a purity affinity, so we're now in level 2, and the Gene Vault Wonder, which we are absolutely going to try to build. Definitely. Okay. Every day I think of Earth, because a word or phrase evokes a lesson I learned long ago, and gets me what I need. Great! So we're in level 2 purity, which means we can upgrade our units. Uh, which one? The Ranger. Nice. We're gonna grab the Gunner with, let's see, 5 HP when not embarked, or 30%, uh, yeah, 30% when defending against ranged. I like that. And Combat Rover cannot be upgraded yet, so it's fine. Okay, settle down. And we completed a quest. Perfect. So we gained one soldier unit for free. Nice. Go and track this guy down. He's the only alien on this island, and uh, we're going to get rid of him. Absolutely. And it looks like they're probably going to die. If they attack. Which... Oh, was that him attacking the aliens? I'm not really sure. Come on, get him! Get him! No! Damn it. 24. Yeah, he's probably going to uh, stay alive. And he's probably going to wipe out that alien nest as well. Shoot. Okay, take this guy out. Very nice. All right, how many more turns on this? Two. Okay, good. Get that done, please. Come on, get him. Get him! No! So close. 14 HP left. Crap. Uh, of course he's going to die now, right? Yep. Oh, no. I don't think he did. Oh, good God. No. <laughs> no. That is not happening. Crap. Okay. We have an issue on this island now. <laughs> we have a siege worm issue. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, trade convoy is now back, and we cannot trade with uh, Santo Adrio because the uh, miasma and stuff. So... Just, uh, sit tight. Okay, um... You know what? Just sit there and heal. We'll let him come to us. <laughs> oh, crap. That sucks. Because I can't buy anything in Axiom because it's not a full city yet, so I can't buy, a, um, an ultrasonic fence yet. Oh, it's gonna be an issue for a little while. Okay, what is this? Uh, 80 production for Central. Very nice. What I'm gonna do is send you back to Axiom. Whoa, hang on. Send you back to Axiom. You're going to heal there. And then you're, we're going to go all the way up to the other uh, crash satellite up here. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. We have to build the uh, the gene vaults. So let's go into add to queue uh, gene vault. Throw that to the top of the list. Um, yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to try to build a little bit of a military. Kind of for defensive purposes. So I'm building a couple of gunners now. And a combat rover, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. Quest decision! Okay, let's see, um... 
The head of our new laboratory has an interesting proposal. At the moment, our research is quite broad. The approach is beneficial, but is dependent on building more laboratories in other cities. However, he believes we can increase our scientific progress by focusing our research on xenoecology. Once we understand the local biology, we should be able to harness it for our scientific endeavors. Right. So, focus on xenoecology, which would give us one additional uh, expedition module, which really isn't all that powerful considering we already have a couple. Um, so, I don't really want that. Or, plus one science from laboratories, which we're definitely going to do. I think that says 16. Well, now we're at 17. Yes, we are. Good. Don't you come any closer, buddy. You stay right over there. Uh, gain a favor for money. Uh, I don't know. Three for 30, that's... I mean, that's not much. Well... No. No, 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 no. It's too early for stuff like that. I'm only making 14. I don't need your favors, buddy. Okay. Um, let's see. So this is a river tile, so it gives us the uh, the energy. So I think a generator, actually, yeah. Because we already have two food, so we might as well grab some more energy so we can pump this out. Right now, I'm saving my money up for the uh, the ultrasonic fence in Axiom once it gets built. Either that or something with production. We'll have to see. Deorbit imminent. Ah, uh, yes, the solar collector is coming back down in five turns. Okay, good. Well, not good, but I suppose it has to happen sometime. Quest decision. A scientist working at our vivarium has made a profound discovery. The xenocyte cultures she has been developing have uh, unique reactions to tissue from Earth's organisms. And she claims they could be used to make Earth alien hybrid organs. Her colleagues condemn her work as dangerous and unethical. Ooh, okay. Well, continue the research and we gain science, or stop the project and we gain food. I think more science, yeah. Let's do that. Perfect. Now we're making 18. Alright, not much to do right now. We're just uh, letting time pass. That's what the beginning of the game usually is. You just keep clicking next turn and uh, it's, it's a very slow process until, you know, stuff starts happening with wars or diplomacy or stuff like that. Uh, we'll get to that point eventually, but right now we only have two cities and there's not much to really do. I could start exploring this and this land over here because we're going to have to settle somewhere over here eventually. Um, just to clear up this area from aliens and miasma and all that crap, so. Yeah, eventually we'll come over here, but that's very, very dangerous at this point in time. I think before we go ahead and come over here with units, we're going to have to, you know, clear out the miasma with the, uh, a satellite first, I think. I, that might be the easiest way to do it, at least. Okay, this explorer is healed, so come over here and, uh, work on the... Oh, because you're standing on it. Okay, come over here, then. Come on. Somewhere. I don't care. Okay, the titanium is built, so we have a lot of extra production here. Six production and two, uh, energy, because it's on the, uh, the river tile, which is great. Um, we can clear miasma, but we're not immune, so we're going to start taking damage. And I think it's going to be worthwhile to wait six turns. So why don't you come over in the water and uh, build me the, uh, the algae thingy. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. What is it called? Uh, oh, just a work barge. Okay. Okay, build me that in six turns. Perfect. When you're done, you can go over there and work on a farm. All right, trade convoy is back from Jim Boomba, so go back, please. Now, I'm not sure when these uh, stations will disappear. Hopefully, they go pretty soon. Um, I'm not sure what the uh, the minimum time required is to trade with them. I really don't know. Well, we'll find out eventually. Okay, go over here, and I'm not going to build a generator anymore. I'm going to build a, a farm. Yeah. Good. Oh, uh, Elodie has become a nuisance. Well, not to me. So, no. I, sorry. I don't. Because, look, she's way over here. I, that would be pointless for me to join that war. Really? So, no. No thank you. Alright, our explorer is now in position. Come over here. Well, okay. You can come back. And you can go over there and... Nope. Wrong thing. You go there. You go there. Okay, cool. Five turns. What's ours is yours. For a price. Gain a favor for titanium uh, three. Well, three titanium. Um, that's actually not that bad because I actually can't use titanium right now. So, it's actually kind of useless as a resource right now because I'm not losing any production or anything and I'm going to get a favor. So that's perfect. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, I, I'm not losing any production, so sure, what is titanium even used for? Titanium uh, engineering. Oh no, that unlocks it, but what does it I really don't know. Hang on, go to titanium. 
Okay, it's used by many mechanical and orbital units. Is the miasmic repulsor? Bleh. Miasmic repulsor? No, it isn't. Okay, it does not require titanium. So what does? Um, climate weather controller? Yes, that does. Okay, but that's a long time from now. The five mythical creatures of Earth are the dragon, the unicorn, the griffin, the llama, and the chimera. The llama. What is this, Tropico? Come on now. Alright, uh, Gene Vault, which unlocks the... Oh, sorry, not which unlocks, which grants four food, one culture, and 10% growth in all cities, which is great. And... Patent your discoveries. Each new species represents an opportunity for uncontestable ownership of that life form. We unlocked Alien Biology, which gives us a point in affinity. Uh, Miasma Pulsar, which we're definitely going to work on to clear the lands or clear the miasma up here. And immunity for workers, which is great. I wonder what life was like on Earth when the whole atmosphere was breathable. Uh, it's, um, it's interesting right now. It is. Okay, explore units take no damage from miasma. That's perfect. Good. Okay, and here's the gene vault. Look at this. That is crazy. I like that. It's, it's gigantic. Oh, I'm glad they kept that from Civilization V. Having it, you know, actually physically on the map is perfect. Okay, now that uh, alien biology is done, we have a little bit of a dilemma. Where do we go next? Well, let's see. We can go into computing or robotics. Those two are pretty, uh, pretty easy. Um, okay, let's go into computing because I want to grab the spy agency. I think that'll be kind of cool. Having uh, the ability to spy. Plus, we have to do the quest, which is... Nope. Quest. Quest, quest, quest. Where are my quest? There it is. Uh, for your eyes only. Research computing. So, we'll do that. What is this? Dogmatic engineering. Declare hostility towards Fort Barca. Oh! You know what? We could do that. Grab this, uh, this mission, and that'd be perfect. Yeah. Okay, so let's start to plan an invasion on uh, Fort Barca. So, you're coming all the way over here. To attack Fort Barca. We're gonna grab the uh, the gunners over here as well, start attacking, and we'll be good. I mean, we might as well. If we're gonna let it go away, we might as well take a quest out of it. Okay, you're all done. Perfect. And now that you have immunity, come over here and build me a farm, please. Cooperation agreement with uh, Kavitha Thakur. I, I keep wanting to say um, Tupac Shakur, but it's not. Not at all. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab that back. Okay, let's go over here. Discuss no cooperation. Be. Good. Is that, uh, that siege room still over here? No, the siege room's gone. That's another thing I don't understand about siege worms, is that over time they just disappear. It's like they burrow back into the ground waiting for their chance to strike and to kill one of your units. It's funny. Uh, it's, it would actually be cool if they actually were still physically underneath the ground so that they could surprise attack you, but I think that it's just over time they just go away. Which I suppose is good for us now in Axiom, because we don't have to buy the ultrasonic fence. We can uh, just build it naturally. And we could purchase uh, something like, um, you know, something with production. Okay, uh, yep, kill that. The last alien unit on the island. Perfect. Okay, uh, build me... I, well, you want me to build generators everywhere, and, I mean, that's fine, I suppose, but I don't think we need them. Yeah, no, instead, work on a farm, please, because we don't have a lot of area for farm in Central. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because that's a desert. Really wouldn't benefit much from putting a farm there. We can put a farm over here. Uh, what else? We have a marsh. That would be okay for a farm. Yeah, not really much in the way of farmland. Okay, Axiom. Let's see. Uh, we're going to give you an old earth relic. And we're going to go ahead and purchase... Let's see. A clinic, cider nursery, or laboratory. Well, not laboratory. I want something with health. Well, the clinic is a little bit cheaper, but I think the Cyto Nursery would be a little bit better because it gives plus one production as well. Plus one production, plus one science, and plus one health. Also, plus one food from marshes, which we don't have it over here, but uh, I suppose it is pretty good anyways. Yeah, we're going to do that. Good. There we go. Oh, um, the crash satellites revealed uh, preliminary research on a distant technology called communications. Okay, where's that? Over here, so it's gonna take 30 turns now. Very nice. Oh god, quests, quests everywhere. Veterans he gains, down here, perfect. Okay, and this crash satellite was part of a quest line, so let's go in here and uh, see what's going on. We've located the signal's origin, 
A probe belonging to the Cestus group crashed in a swamp of Xenomass. The Cestus group never reached our new planet, and their status remains a mystery. Recovering the probe may provide answers to their ultimate fate. However, doing so will likely contaminate the Xenomass, making the rare material unfit for use. Leaving the probe undisturbed will protect the potentially valuable resource. Um... No, I'm not going for Harmony, so we're gonna go ahead and go straight for Purity and recover the probe. See what happened to this website. Website? What the hell? It's a probe. <laughs> the Cestus group. See what happened to the Cestus group. Alright, drain the Xenomass. There we go. Our expedition has managed to save the probe, though at the cost of the Xenomass. An examination of the probe shows it contains both a cultural log and a technical log of the Cestus group's time and space. Unfortunately, the probe has been damaged in such a way that recovering one will likely result in losing the other. Save the records and gain supremacy? Oh no, pur uh, purity. Sorry. Uh, or recover technology and gain supremacy. Well, as I said before, we're going purity, so save the records. Yes, homesteading this world is hard. But all the people pitch in, and somehow the work gets done. Great, and that was the quote for the level 3 uh, of purity. So we gain 20% strength and ranged strength when attacking or defending against aliens. That's actually really good. Nice. And we've also gained 50 culture and 130 energy from that mission. That's fantastic. Alright, so we can go ahead and give ourselves a virtue. And I think what I'm going to do is come down to mind over matter, which is an instant 7 health, which is perfect. Now up to 10. Good, and uh, upgrade available for our combat rover. Now it is an armor. Let's see, 20% when flanking, or 30% when attacking fortified units. Ah, hmm. I think I would rather use these guys in a supportive manner, so we're going to go and grab the flanking one. Yeah, let's do that. 